Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. No? Anyway, Pete just turned to me and said, is this the start of the birthday video? So, welcome to the start of the birthday video. No, that this video is going to be all about me. It might be about the shrieking child in the back. Yeah. I don't think you'll have seen this place yet because we're doing a like favorite places we ate and drank in Cape Town video. Um, but this is our local and we came here for my birthday and it was delicious. So we're back for Pete's birthday. Um, I'm having the same exact thing. Chicken livers on toast are so good. Pete's having eggs quarantine. Okay, now that we've finished one meal, we're gonna start thinking about the next one. Uh, all Pete wanted for his birthday was to grill a bunch of meat. Right, Pete? All I wanted to do for my birthday was grill a bunch of meat on the bra. And so I found a Are place- you Australian or South African? South African. Uh, I'm actually A.B. de Villiers, if you don't know. Um, uh, so found a great place on Airbnb where we're gonna do exactly that. First, we're, uh, we're not far from what's supposed to be a really good butcher. So we're gonna go get some meat. And what, what is borowurst? Borowurst, it's a fresh sausage, no? Okay. Like it's just, uh, that's all, that's only meat. Head. It's only meat, it's beef. Only meat. Okay. Or beef, pork. Okay. It's a mix, bit of lamb. Oh. This is now, in this case, water. Don't tell me. And that is green. And uh, the game is very lean, so we put a bit of lamb in there. Uh -huh. no? Which animals are in this one? Ah, uh, that's a beef and pork. Let's do that one, right? Lamb, so yeah. that's a What's the one next to it? That one. That is the spicy, spicy one. I am so full from eating a pile of chicken livers at 9 a.m. Uh, it's hard to focus in that butcher. But the good news is basically any road trip you do in South Africa, it seems that you pass several wineries. So that's our next stop. And so I've got some good fuel for the, what time is it? It's 10. We're gonna arrive, oh, that's the grocery store. Yeah, we won't start drinking till like 11 almost. 11.15. That's, that's reasonable. Totally respectable. Thank you. We selected a very fancy wine estate for our mid-road trip stop. That's gonna teach you how to skip. This little boy just put his foot in my mouth while he was lying down. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you. I have to pee so bad and our eco lodge is over there, but like we've been driving how long on this no, dirt road? Like 15, 20 minutes? We've been driving a really long time on a bumpy gravel road and it's I did offer that you could pee on the side of the road. I considered it. Yeah. I considered it. Over there. That one. That is. <laughs> Alright, here's a first impressions tour of the Buchu box at Berseba Farm which is an essential oils farm in, I honestly, I don't know where we are. Ready? I'm so excited to show you this place. Come in. All right, so first up, got the kitchen, living room area, a couple of couches, little wood burning stove. Hayes has got his car mat, his toys set up. Hayes, you good? Okay, a bottle of wine, some buttermilk cookies. Gonna be devouring those in Rusks. a minute. They love their rusks. Oh, they're buttermilk rusks. Oh, look, they look decent. Um, it's always a nice touch. Really great. And then we are on an essential oils farm. So we've got all of these essential oils. I mean, I'm not quite sure. What do we do with them? I think they're for sale. Ah, okay. Oh, well, anyway, nice touch. He's just going to sleep in here. 
So this is one of the bedrooms. Great bed. Nice hanging A-frame thing here. But this view, check this view out. That is amazing. Great bathroom here. Massive shower. It's all super well done. Great, come on. The other bedroom, this is where Steph and I are gonna sleep. Exactly the same, exactly the same layout. Super comfortable. We kind of think the view's even better this side. But okay, the best part, come, come, come. All right, again, you got these massive sliding windows, sliding doors, window things. I guess both sides, you can open those up. You have got this awesome outside area here that links those two bedrooms. We've got this awesome hot tub right here, which looks gorgeous. Uh, that is heated by a wood stove. That is keeping the water nice and warm down there. So we'll be putting some logs in there to keep that topped up. And then this, I can't wait, we're gonna use this tonight. Uh, it's a braai, just a barbecue, I guess. That's what they call it here in South Africa. Um, it's already been set up. The guys set it up for us. So we just have to light it, get our stuff set up, and then we're good to go. So incredible place. Really, really looking forward to spending a night here and enjoying this amazing view. We'll show you later what it looks like in the evening as well. Cry master has done it. He has cooked his assortment of meat. How do you feel? How was that? Great, really good. Got to film any of it? <laughs> the braai is awesome. I mean, yeah. you can see the end of it. You can watch our s'mores happen, but um, <laughs> it all happened over there. And now it is over here. Check it out. We've got some steak. We've got some lamb chops. We've got some boar, boar wurst. Boar wurst. Not worst, wurst. It means farm sausage. And we've got a salad. Happy birthday. Oh. Cheers, man. For my birthday, I wanted somewhere where I could cook lots of meat. Check, we've done that. Now we're enjoying this beautiful sunset here in the hot pool. Jeez. Wood fired. Wood fired, yeah. So he, as he was looking at Airbnbs, he came across this essential oil farm. Uh, again, don't know how to say it. Perseba? Seba Lodge farm. Um, they have wood fired hot tubs. It's like 90 degrees during the day, but this place would be lovely in the winter. Also, we put Hayes to bed like before 6 30, but he didn't have a nap and he was super cranky, so I think it's gonna work. It's not, it's getting cooler. There's like a gentle breeze. It's, I mean, it's not cold. <laughs> stared at the dessert aisle in the grocery store and Pete couldn't find anything he wanted and then we thought, let's have s'mores. Good morning. Hey, can we cheers? Cheers. And the uh, country worldwide <laughs> top 50 down. Tell you Carry on. That's how you know it's a road trip. Anyway, we don't know where we are because we just looked for cool Airbnb listings. The agenda for today is we're gonna go try to find some more penguins at Stony Point. And then apparently that's close to like a really beautiful no, coastal no, road. No, no. And then we're gonna make our way back to Cape Town. Hey, we're gonna go see 
penguins. That one. There's more over there. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Stony Point. Stony Point. Stony Point Penguin Colony. I think it's the only other penguin colony other than Boulder's Beach and Foxy Beach. I think I read that, but I could be wrong. Um, and it's great. It's further down the coast, so it's not as busy, but there seem to be just as many penguins and it's a fraction of the price. It's 25 Rand uh, per adult, which is under two bucks. So we're looking at some penguins. I'd say that there's a ton more penguins here than at the uh, Boulder's Beach. Boulder's Beach was nice because we were able to, Hazel was able to swim and stuff. And Foxy but... Beach? Oh, uh, Foxy, that's where he swam at Foxy Beach. No, Foxy Beach was the boardwalk. Oh, okay. Anyway, it's just a ton more penguins here and it's just really cool to see them in their natural habitat. The very, other place was natural too. Very cool. Yeah, it was, but it's just, there's more. It's a lot less crowded here, which is cool. What do you think? What are they going to do when they get in the ocean? Ooh, fishies. Huh? Get fishies. Get fishies. La, 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 la. Just went into the ocean. Uh, hi. Yeah. Hi, hi. That was a great little bonus stop on the way home. And now we are on the hunt for some seafood, but I think the road there is supposed to be really beautiful. Okay, an update, this drive is incredibly gorgeous and we're doing it the right direction because we're on the lane closest to the coast and there's all these little areas where you could pull over, um, but we pulled over at this one because look how cool this pool is. All those people over there are like swimming in this little pool made from the ocean. So beautiful. And there's our little dusty rental car. Shout out to Roundabout Cars Cape Town. Do not know what we would have done without a car for this month. I didn't see any sharks. But there's some surfers down there. Hope you liked this video. If you liked this one, you might like one of the two on the screen now where we go see penguins at Boulder Beach and when we spend a few days in the wine region in Stellenbosch and Franschhoek.